guys, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I had done previously a beautiful painting that I titled Ice Cave, and you guys had some great ideas for these. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of phthalo blue to this one. I still wanna keep it very minimal. I want a lot of negative space in the background, but I said that I would go bigger on this one. So I'm doing a two foot by two foot for this one. I'm really excited about it. I appreciate all of your comments and you guys are inspiration to me as well. You're part of my creative process. I listen and read all of your comments and I take everything into consideration and I just want to say thank you for that. Let's paint. <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to do a big ice cave and someone had made a recommendation to also put a little bit of a bright blue. So I'm using a phthalo blue in there as well. I'm gonna come around and do the same kind of design around both sides and let's see what happens. I love it, but I love the simplicity of it. So wanted to go bigger. So before I start on this part, I wanted to tell you a little bit about this side here. And when you are um, painting these sides, the reason that I do it is because as the paint falls down, it um, gets thinner. And so sometimes you can see the canvas through. So when it's a darker color, I like to paint the sides. But I also paint this strip here because as I'm painting the sides, there's a little bit of paint that ridges up here. That will actually impede the paint running down the side. So I like to smooth this on out as well. Okay, let's get started. along the side. And if you get to this point and it looks like your paint is kind of unlevel in places, I know I showed this in another video, but just tilt just a little bit and it will help kind of those ridges even themselves out. and it will ensure that it dries nice and smooth. So what I did there is just with a uh, torch, I'm using a Creator torch. Um, it's actually no longer on Amazon, uh, but you can Google it. But any torch will do, creme brulee torch. Just make sure you have a fire extinguisher in your home. Um, and that was just to pop the air bubbles. So I'm not trying to obviously get any cells or anything in this right now. So, all right, let's start. I think I'll start, hmm, this is always the difficult part. I think maybe I'll start with some silver actually. Hmm, yeah, just a tiny little bit of silver. You guys know my tiny little bit of silver is normally a lot. <laughs> oh, 
well, now I'm gonna come in with the blue. And I have some other ideas for this, for in the middle, doing different stuff in the middle. I'm really liking these side designs. They're so cool. Now I'm gonna come in with the sky blue. Maybe I should have layered this a little bit differently. I don't know. Hmm, okay. Now I'm gonna come in with my, I think I'm gonna do another dark blue actually. Then the white, just a tiny bit of white. Like, does not have to be much at all because I don't want, I already have the silver, so I don't want a ton of gray. white will create some nice cells. So will the silver. The silver metallic in a different brand than Amsterdam normally gives me great cells. And this is just paint and water. Okay, now maybe just a tiny little drop of, oh gosh, <laughs> did you guys see that? Some black just like flew over there. Okay, all right, do we think that that's enough? I don't know, I feel like maybe I'll just use up the rest of the paint here. I'm gonna blow it back out that way, off the side, and then I'll blow in with my mouth. I guess I'll just use up the rest of this as well. Okay, let's do it. Just, I don't know, I kind of actually like it with this. I was looking at this part right here because I didn't really get a good blow to mix it, but I actually like that that's kind of bold and in your face right there. So I kinda, I'm iffy about what to do at this point, honestly, because it's very pretty just like this. The other one that I had continued almost along to encase it. So maybe I'll just try a little with my mouth. I don't want to do too much. Hmm. I think I might, I might just leave this part right here. Okay, I know that I say, okay, I think I'm just gonna leave that and then split second in my mind, I blow it anyway. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Just accept me for who I am. <laughs> okay. Now in... And some don't like my little squigglies that I do, and that's okay, but this is my art, right? So when you create your pieces, you can do whatever you like. I 
do like the addition of the blue. I like that there's little peeking through of the black. Up here too, so they're kind of mirroring each other. I like these big, bold kind of blocks of color that I've got from this blue. It's really nice, actually. Okay, so let me fiddle with this part up here and then I'll show you guys what I have. You can tell me if you like it. Okay, so here it is. I did, I fiddled. You guys know me. I fiddled quite a bit, but I did blow more with my mouth instead of, gosh, you'll have to see the final result to get it without the glare. Look at that. Ugh. This is Soho Silver, which I get at Jerry's Artorama, and it also creates these gorgeous cells like the Creative Inspirations does. Looks like little brains. <laughs> so yeah, so I fiddled with my mouth. Like you can tell, that is something I drug with my finger, and then that's something that's blown. But yeah, I really like it. All right, if you stick around, I'll show you the dried result. Here it is. It is beautiful. It is super simple, but I do, I love these kind of big stretches of bright pops of color that are there. The phthalo blue edition was, uh, I, I really liked it with the silver, but it's still super minimalist. And I'm wondering if I can get kind of one big stripe of those colors with kind of some of those wispies and do a bunch of negative space, maybe somewhere off center. Every time I do a painting, I have inspiration for another painting. It, it amazes me. I did go back in and blow a little bit of these with my mouth. I added a little bit more silver. You guys know I have to fiddle a little bit as I go. But I mean, that's Soho silver. The cell reaction is unbelievable. There's no silicone. This is just paint and water, but absolutely amazing. I love it. All right. You guys let me know what you think. I've had a couple of people that have been painting scenes in the negative space. They've been linking me on Instagram. It's beautiful. So thank you guys for also being my inspiration. All right, happy painting. Bye.